scripts for expired listings. What should you be saying? What script should you memorize or what should you be telling an expired listing? Hi, my name is Jim McCord. I'm going to share with you what I believe is way better than memorizing the typical scripts that you'll get from any other coach, any other real estate broker, manager, or agent. And I'm telling you, I used all that other stuff my first 20 years. And about 10 years ago, when drone photography came around, aerial photography, I started doing this and it really works. Rather than just go after any expired, I only go after the expired listings that have either the wrong first photo or the wrong first photo and bad photos throughout. Well, you might say, well, Jim, our MLS doesn't have any of those. Most of our realtors are using good photos. Well, I promise you they're not. I'm a real estate coach for the last seven years. I've been on over 150 different MLSs. Call me, I'll gladly get on a Zoom with you and I'll share with you uh, the about 40 or 50% of listings, expired listings in your MLS where the agent used the wrong first photo or bad photos throughout. So anyway, that's what you wanna do. You wanna target those expires that have bad first photos. Should have been a drone photo and it wasn't or possibly that and uh, they didn't have a professional photographer take inside photos. And then you're gonna meet with that seller and you're gonna, the first question as opposed to a script, the typical script, like, oh, I'm a better, I, you know, we do much better marketing, I'm better at negotiating, whatever, whatever it is that you're saying or the other scripts you're memorizing, think about this. The first thing I say to an expired listing is let me ask you this, why did your previous agent use this photo? And then I hold up the MLS and I show them the photo they used. And most sellers say, well, you know, I don't know, it's in front of the house. And I say, let me explain what should have been done. And then I proceed to tell them how buyers look for property. And this is a fact, buyers get on their cell phone, their tablet, their laptop or their desktop. They go to Zillow or KW or EXP, Cobalt Bank or whatever, they punch in their parameters and what shows up is that first photo and that's it. And if buyers aren't interested in that first photo, they're not gonna click on all the other photos to see them and to read the description. You see the first photo, a very short description, price and an address typically. So that first photo is extremely important. Sellers don't know that. Almost no sellers know that. And about 90% of the realtors don't know that. Otherwise they wouldn't be using the first photo that they're using. So anyway, you don't wanna just go after any expired. You wanna select the ones where they, where they were bad photos. Okay, now you have to meet them to share that with them. You know, why did your agent use that photo? And there's other things and I'll gladly get into those scripts with you, but you need to meet with that seller to explain why that photo was bad. So how do you do that? Do you just cold call them like I did my first 15 years? Well, that works, but that's what everybody else is doing too. So it doesn't work very well. Imagine this, I'm in front of this house for a reason. Expired listing. They're getting all kind of phone calls from realtors, all kinds, because the listing expired. I drove by, took a photo with my phone, because this is not an MLS photo, I don't have it listed yet, I'm just prospecting. And through Mailbox Power, I send them this eight and a half by 11 greeting card, and it comes in this envelope, and the envelope has a photo of their house. This is impressive when they get this delivered to them. So they're gonna open that up because nobody else has ever sent them a nine by 12 envelope with a photo of their house. And inside is this heavy stock greeting card, eight and a half by 11. And it is truly heavy stock. stock. Then they open that up and it's got you know some reasons they might wanna consider meeting with me and my information. And it works. So, you know, this is one of dozens of items that you can customize and send to these sellers to prospect. And it works so much better than sending company information or strictly doing the phone call. And I'll share another example, like the same house. I sent this to them with a postcard, you know, letting them know their listing is expired. They still haven't relisted. I'd like to meet with them. So if you get a coffee mug with a photo of your house, it makes, it makes an impression. It really does. Does everybody call you? Of course not. But you're completely different than all the other realtors who are just either cold calling or cold calling and sending them company information. I'll give you a couple other examples. This was a million four listing that had expired. And they got, this was not the shipping box. This is a box within the shipping box. 
So the listing expired and they got this box. When they open the shipping box, they see this and they take the lid off. And the first thing they see in that box is a five by seven greeting card with a photo of their house. Your listing is expired. Are you still interested in selling? You can put whatever you want on these. This is what I did. Sometimes I make a photo of the entire front of the house card. Sometimes I'll shrink it. And then on the inside is my information, your information. And I hit send and they send that in this box. They open that box, they're impressed. This card, they're impressed. And then inside of that box is a coffee mug with a photo of their house on it. Now, that's impressive. So when it comes to back to the scripts, when you get to meet with these people, and I shared with you how you meet with them because you're gonna send them customized cards and gifts which is going to impress them. And you're gonna put your information on the inside. Uh, you know, I'm completely different than every other realtor and not all, but more of them are gonna call you than they would if you just sent company information, trust me. And uh, then when you meet with them, you're gonna ask them that question. You're not gonna go through the typical expired script. You're gonna say, let me ask you something. You're gonna show them the MLS. Why did your previous agent use this as the first photo? And if they had bad photos on the inside, you're going to bring them all and print those all out on one page or multiple pages and say, why did your agent use their cell phone to take MLS photos? Or why didn't they use a professional photographer? And then that gets the seller thinking, yeah, why didn't they? And then you show them what good photos look like, obviously not of their house. You didn't have a drone photo taken of their house yet, but you show them drone photos of other houses. Other houses just like theirs that had expired where the previous agent didn't use an aerial photo. And then you listed it and you did use an aerial photo. So you show them the other agent's photo and your photo and they on numerous houses and they say, wow, I really want an aerial photo. And they list with you. It's almost that simple, it really is. Anyway, Jim McCord is my name. Mailbox Power, I'll put the link. Mailbox Power is an affiliate marketing company. So yeah, I do get a little bit of money if you join and use it, uh, just like any other affiliate marketing company. Uh, but the link to join or to look around will be in the description of this video. I'll also put my email and my phone number. And uh, I'll be happy to talk to you if you have any questions before you join or if you have questions after you join. But the system works so well for me, you know, using customized cards and customized gifts as opposed to cold phone calling that seven years ago I wrote a book. It's called Revolution in Real Estate Sales. And it very quickly became a number one bestseller on Amazon in the real estate industry. And it's funny because my first 21 years I could never have written a book because it would have just been the same old conventional stuff that everybody else is doing. But when I quit cold phone calling and door knocking and I started sending customized cards and customized gifts and I got more appointments, it really gave me something to share, which is why I wrote the book. The book is a short book. It's less than 100 pages. It is on Amazon. And in there, I don't share everything about real estate, but what I share is how to prospect for sale by owners and expireds using Mailbox Power and nine follow-up methods. Uh, because you don't just want to follow up with a phone call. There's all kind of follow-up methods. On YouTube, if you search Jim McCord, follow-up real estate, you'll, you'll see that video. But uh, feel free to call me. I'd love to meet with you. Um, don't memorize scripts. Uh, do re-watch this video. Search the expires that you have something to offer. That's the expires where the previous agent used a bad first photo or bad photos throughout. Go only, af go, only go after those, and then you know the script. Let me ask you something. Why did your agent use this photo? Why did your agent use these photos? And you explain why, and they want to list with you. Guys, have a great day.